Club Small Challenge. And that means that all the dogs are under 350 mils at the wither. So, but first of all, we need a judge. So please, a big welcome to our agility judge this morning, Mr. Tom Vandelaar. Okay, so as I said, this is a competition especially for small dogs. Agility is very inclusive. You can do agility with any size dog. You just need to get it measured. So all the dogs, like I said, have been measured under 350 mils at the shoulder to compete in this competition. And throughout the year, they've been uh, collecting points in order to qualify here today. So first off, we have Zoe Council, and this is Millie the Cocker Spaniel. She's nine years old. And unfortunately, just picking up an elimination there for taking the wrong course. She needed to turn right onto the dog walk. So he's going to keep going, though. So, as I was saying, all the small dogs here in this competition have uh, gained sufficient points in qualifiers throughout the year. And it wasn't, in fact, until uh, 1987 that the first small dogs um, had an event of their own here in the main arena at Crufts. So Zoe just finishing through the weave poles. And over the final jump, a big round of applause please for Zoe and, and Lily. Okay, our next competitor is Amy Lawson and this is Fudge the Sheltie. Agility champion, million to one. So our judge just having a look at the seesaw, just checking that it's okay. And we're ready to go. So the dogs have got to go past that first entrance to the tunnel. Over the A-frame, gets the down plank. Amy crossing in front there, so she actually blocks the, that jump on the far side into the tunnel. Round the back of the jump, past the tunnel again. A few turns there onto the long jump and a long line down to the wall. Left turn, back over number 14, over to the seesaw. You must touch the ground before the dog comes off it into the weave poles. One more obstacle to go and lovely, a clear round, 38.7. And next we have Mandy Sue Sarty. And this is Diva, the Patterdale Cross Jack Russell. Stonebridge Dashing Diva. And uh, this is Diva's first time at Crufts. I think Mandy Sue's been here a few times before, but this is um, Diva's first time. So picking her up on the left hand side, nicely over the A frame, onto that dog walk. Gets her down into the tunnel. Oh, she just looked at the dog walk there. Oh, and the tunnel. That's okay, she's just wasted time with those little deviations. So nice turns there on the long jump. Down to the wall, sharp left turn, back on to 14. Whoa, the lot ran out. <laughs> just picking up the dog walk there, unfortunately, and an elimination for Diva. So just finishing on the weave poles and over the jump. I'm sure we're going to see Diva again here at Crust. Well done, Mandy Sue. Okay, next we have Lou Cadman and this is Poppy. So into the tunnel. Over the A-frame. Onto the dog walk. Look at that, wow. These little dogs really do love their agility. Round the back of the jump. Got to go past those tunnels. Turn left, turn right, and then left again. Nicely sent out. Lots to say for herself, Poppy has. All into the tunnel. Two more obstacles to go. And a lovely finish. Well done, Lou. And Poppy, 
So next we have Louise McGovern on the line. This is Safi, a miniature schnauzer. And her kennel name is Tonix Berry B. Black. And uh, this is actually Louise's first agility dog. And uh, she got to grade seven in uh, February of last year. Just saw that other end of the tunnel. It was just a bit too inviting, so getting eliminated there at the tunnel. Safi's going to continue to enjoy herself. She doesn't know that she's been eliminated. Very nicely round those jumps. And over the seesaw. Through those wee balls. Oh, just going around the first hole there. Nicely through those. And over the last jump. Well done, Lee. Okay, next on the line we have Dawn Weaver, and this is Chelsea, a miniature poodle. And she's an agility champion, and she's also 11 years old. So she's done very well in her agility career. She's called Agility Champion Pequot Painted Sunshine. And uh, Dawn says she's actually going to retire Chelsea this year. She's won every event at Crufts over the years. She has 16 CC tickets. And Dawn says she's very, very proud to be owned by Chelsea. So lovely running contact there into the tunnel. Round the jump. Nicely done there. One more turn to go. Left over the long jump. Turning nicely on to 14. The last contact on the course gets that into the tunnel. Picking up those wee poles. One more obstacle to go. And a lovely finish. Well done. 39.11. That goes into second place. Okay, next on the line we have Bernadette Bay. And this is Zaz the Sheltie. Obey, it's got pizzazz. And uh, Zaz is three year old. She wants to get on with the job. She doesn't want to be hanging around any longer than she has to. Into the tunnel. Lovely running A frame there onto the dog walk. Runs that contact as well. Round the back of the jump. Bernadette making sure she keeps on top of her to get all of those turns in. A lovely tight turn there at number 10. Down to the wall. Needs to do another turn there. Onto the seesaw. Gets that very nicely into the tunnel. Bernadette swapping sides to get a nice line into the weaves. Through those. One more obstacle and a clear round. 38.35. That goes into the lead. Okay, so 38.35 for time to beat. Debbie Cookson is next, this is Bert, and he's a terrier cross poodle. And his kennel name is All Bert, No Ernie. Not quite sure what that means, but uh, I'm sure it has some significance. Okay, so all you had is eye on that. Just picking up elimination, you could see that as he was coming down the dog walk that he was going to go in that end of the tunnel. Never mind, he doesn't know, look, he's still enjoying himself. Straight down over the wall. Onto the seesaw, through the tunnel. Oh. He's arguing now, look. There you go, lovely, through the wheeze and over the jump, lovely, well done Debbie and Bert. Okay, next we have Lee Harfield, and this is Pip the Toy Poodle, kennel named the amazing Mr Pip. Ready. Here we go. Into the tunnel. 
As you can see, if you think these little dogs are lap dogs, they, they absolutely are not. They absolutely love their agility. Straight into the tunnel. Unfortunately, just got five faults there on the dog walk. Handling those turns very nicely. On to number 11, down to the wall. So five faults so far. Turns right onto the seesaw. The last contact on the course gets that into the tunnel. No recall. Look at that. Very, very nice. And over the final jump. Well done, Lee. And Pip, 5 for 38.68. And next on the line is Helen Nelson. And this is Piaf, the miniature poodle. Siren song, Little Madam. She's a four year old miniature poodle. She says, Come on, let's get on with it. Into the tunnel. Helen just picking her up on the left-hand side there. Oh, five faults on the A-frame for missing the down contact. Very nice dog walk. Round the back of the jump. Helen just crossing sides there, picking her up on her left and turning again to get a nice left turn. Down to the wall. Helen's going to change sides again. Very tightly through those jumps. Gets the, gets the seesaw into the tunnel into those weaves, one more obstacle to go, well done, five falls in 37.31. Okay, next we have Selena Bray, this is Shade, another miniature poodle, uh, Shanandi, one and only. So, Selena just setting up Shade on the start line there. Making sure she's pointing at the end of the tunnel she wants her to go in. Up and over the A-frame. Gets that onto the dog walk. Nicely down there. Making sure she goes past those tunnels. Selena swapping sides again round to number 11. And that long run down to the wall. Gets the seesaw into the tunnel. Swapping sides again into those weave poles. One more to go and a lovely finish clear in 38.87. So we're still chasing Bernadette. And uh, that last goal to run just went into third place. So well done, Selena. And next on the line we have Wendy Fasson. This is Cruz and he's a crossbreed. Called uh, just cruising. Doesn't look like he's just cruising now, though. Over the dog walk. Tightly around that jump. Turns on these jumps. Back round over the long jump. Far run down the far side. Oh, a little bit of a wide turn there. Tighter there onto the seesaw. Into the tunnel, Wendy swapping sides, into those weave poles. <laughs> Safely through those and over the jump in 41.02. <laughs> okay, next we have Sam Lord and this is Lubis Shine On. This is a German Spitz of the Mittel variety. And uh, his pet name is Rupert. And he's five years old. And this is actually his second time at Crufts. Oh, he's stuck behind there. But he got five on the A-frame. So five points so far for Rupert. Gets the down on the dog walk. Round the back of the jump. Tight turn there. Oh, he did just glance at the tunnel, but that's okay. Very tightly round 10. Down to that wall. Nicely through there, onto the seesaw. Into the tunnel, into those weed poles. Through those and over the last jump, five balls in 40.37. Okay, next we have Betsy. And Betsy is actually a border collie cross. She's just a collie with short legs. 
She's lovely, isn't she? She's called Wee Betsy Boo. And uh, apparently she's the mistake of a mating between a Jack Russell and a farm collie. So, but she's absolutely lovely. And I can assure you she can run. So, into the tunnel. Here we go, look at this, lovely. Straight over that A-frame. Onto the dog walk. Over the dog walk, round, out, over the jump. Come here, come here. Jeanette just making sure she keeps on top of her, doesn't do anything she shouldn't do. Straight, straight down to that wall, and that can be difficult when they've had a long line of straight line of jumps to turn them. But, oh, just picking up five forks there. Drop pole into the tunnel, so five faults, sorry, ten faults, no, five faults, sorry, so far. Through the weeds and over the jump in 38.05 with five faults. Okay, next on the line we have Wendy Clay, and this is Scout. And uh, this is another colleague across Jack Russell, eight years old, agility champion, racing red Brussels Scout. So into the tunnel, picking him up on the left-hand side over the A-frame. Oh, another five on the A-frame. These little dogs are missing their A-frames through the wrong end of the tunnel. And just gets five, sorry, gets eliminated there. Going into the wrong end of the tunnel. So nice turn though, onto the long jump. Wendy's gonna keep going. Oh, he says, I'm gonna have another go at it. I like that bit. Oh, nice weave entry, Wendy. Woo! I think she's just showing off now. Okay. Next is Mike Hallam, and this is Phoebe, the miniature poodle. Six years and 11 months. And this is Ray Ann's Take a Chance on Me. Safely over the A-frame, onto the dog walk. Get the dog walk into the tunnel. Round the back of the jump. Mike just getting in front of her there to get the turn, pushing her back again. The long run down to the wall. Just crossing sides again, over 15 onto the seesaw. Into the tunnel. Into those weaves. Nicely through there. One jump to go. And clear round. 43.10. Well done, Mike. Okay, next we have uh, Tallulah, the miniature poodle. And this is Helen Nelson again. And this is Siren Song, Fallen Angel. And she's five years old. Oh, she says, I'll just have a little shake. Sort all my fur out. Helen getting into position there, and we're off. Another one that likes to bark while she's doing her agility. Over the A-frame. Onto the dog walk. Gets that into the tunnel. Round the back of the jump. Helen pushing her back there, swapping sides, and then running right down the arena to the wall. Trying to get that turn as tight as possible onto 15. Into the seesaw. Gets that into the tunnel. Swapping sides again into those weave poles. Look at that. And over the last jump, 37.77. And that goes into the lead. Well done, Helen. Okay, next on the line we have Dawn Weaver and Puzzle. And Puzzle is a papillon, he's six years old. Agility champion, Tom Ring, just a puzzle. So, here we go, into the tunnel, over the A-frame, straight over that, round to the dog walk. And straight down that, look at that, lovely. Out of the tunnel, round the back of the jump. Very nice turns there. Turning again to go left onto the long jump. Down the long straight to the wall. Nice tight turn there. Over 15 onto the seesaw. 
He's got to wait for that to hit the ground into the tunnel. Through those weed poles, look at that. What a cracking little dog. And over the final jump, 38.80. Goes into second place. Well done, Dawn. And the last to go today in this competition. This is Alan Bray and Tatty. And she's a miniature poodle. She's four years old. And her kennel name is Siren Song Tantrums and Tiaras at Up and Over. So she has a very, very posh kennel name. So into the tunnel. Alan's going to pick her up on his left hand side. Gets the A frame, calling her. So she comes onto the dog walk. Gets the down plank into the tunnel. Round the jump. Into the little turn, turn right, turn left. You've got to run all the way down the arena to the wall. Over 15, on to the seesaw. You've got to hit the floor. Through the tunnel, into those weed poles. Come on. Through the weeds and over the final jump. Clear round, 39.77. That was a great run there by Alan. And uh, if you do please stay with us, um, because we will very, very shortly be doing the presentations for the Kennel Club Small Agility Challenge. Okay, so in third place of the Kennel Club Small Agility Challenge is Bernadette Bay with agility champion Obey It's Got Pizzazz. <laughs> in second place is Dawn Weaver with agility champion Tonring Just a Puzzle. of the Kennel Club Small Agility Challenge is Helen Nelson with Siren Song Fallen Angel. <laughs> so a big round of applause please because it's lap of honour time.
Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. 